All right, guys. So this video is about what I did to get through lockdown. The first two weeks were crazy. By the way, if you didn't know, if you're not from the UK, we've had a lockdown since November the 1st, or wherever it was, for a month. Should be back open in December. First two weeks, I was sitting in, going crazy. Didn't know what really I was going to be doing. Excuse me if I'm rambling. I haven't had any sleep. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I just went training. But anyway, this is what I did. So first two weeks was crazy. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm sick of feeling miserable. So I love lists. So I wrote down, it came to about eight things that I knew I could do every day that I knew that would make me happy. Very simple things, not crazy things, things that you can actually do. Now, I haven't done all of them in one day. I don't know if you, maybe the other day I did more. Now, if you don't like writing down, you're a digital person, you like desktop, laptop, tablet, phone, Google Sheets is wicked. Google Sheets, um, I put all my stuff on there as well. So anyway... This is the kind of shit I do. Things that make me happy, right? So, not just training indoors. I want to do outdoor training. I want to go to the park. I did it once. I felt amazing. So, outdoor training in the park. I train six days a week anyway. So, that's number one on my list. Number two, 20 to 30 minutes cardio. I noticed when I used to be fit, mad fit, I was always energetic. I stopped doing cardio for months because I wanted to put on some size. And I started feeling a bit lazy. And when you're fit, you're energetic. So I was like, you know what? If I do 20, 30 minutes cardio a day, running, skipping, bag work. If you've got a bag, I've got a little Bob outside I can be up. If you know what Bob is, go on Google, Bob XL. And uh, when you're fit, you feel good and everything works better. So that's another one on my list. Uh, three and four were... Do some work. I have an ADHD channel called It's My ADHD with my best friend Shady, um, YouTube channel and Instagram channel. So it was 30 minutes work looking around on the Instagram page, doing some stuff as well as the YouTube page. So it was doing some work, progressing with some kind of business or work or something. You might have a you might have um, a project you need to do. Just do like write down half an hour every day. Just do something like that. OK, some other thing. I got a guitar over there, played a little bit of it, and I was like, you know what? Playing an instrument, we've got time. Playing an instrument's gonna be good. If you've got one, or you wanted to, why not? We've got so much time. So I put 30 minutes of guitar per day. I did this last week and I ain't done any guitar yet, but it's on the list. I keep seeing it, so it's, I know it's gonna be good. 30 minutes book. Now, I can't read books, really, because ADHD, read the first two, three, four lines and you forget what you read so you have to read it again. So I always have Audible. When I got Audible, this is like 50 books, like boom, boom, boom. So Audible, read books, listen to books. And I wrote down again, 30 minutes of book. Because you know books are good, self-help books, factual books, fictional books, all sorts. It's good for your brain. It's like you're giving your brain a little present. So that's also good. And then I wrote 30 minutes to one hour stretching. Now, all you gotta do is go from head to toe. And spend about half an hour to one hour stretching. And trust me, we've got so much time and you get into a way, a kind of meditation and you stretch your body out. And trust me, you do it for a few days, you're gonna feel good. Your body's gonna thank you by feeling great. So yeah. And um, my last one on the list was 30 minutes meditation because I used to do meditation and it was good to calm you down bring you in the now, really got stop those crazy thoughts by just being in the present. Because this lockdown is going to make you sit at home a lot and think and think and think and think and it's crazy. So all these things on my list, it came to about three hours, 30 to four hours per day or four and a half hours per day. That's it. So when you when I looked at it like that, I was like four hours a day to make me really happy. Eight things to make me really happy. So Listen, it's made such a difference to me. Doing this, I might do three or four, maybe just three in a day, and I write three out of eight. Next day, four out of eight, and I get, I wake up and I know what I've got to do. I've got stuff to do instead of thinking, hmm, what have I got to do? I've got stuff to do. So what I say to you is, find things that you can do every day. We ain't talking about 20 million years doing it. We're talking about a small bit of time to do that one thing every day a little bit every day and you have loads of things and therefore you have stuff to do and it will make you happy so that is my happy thing to do to get you doing stuff through lockdown 
that's not going to be the title. But anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment to say that video was shit, comment. But if you want to say it's good, do that too. And if you haven't, subscribe. And also, like I said, got another channel. It's my ADHD. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, take care. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys.